Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here and welcome to a new episode of the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. So, this is our rewards episode. Now, I'm actually outside of Ultimate Team right now because I wanted to load in and hopefully see a screen of showing us what we've got coming tomorrow, which is this. So this is what we've got. We've got winter refresh. So we've got the ratings refresh, the prime icon moments, and ones to watch winter coming tomorrow. It should be pretty busy. So I'm very much looking forward to 6 p.m. on Friday night. Um, but one thing you can see there is Mbappe's got an 88 rated card. As you guys know, when I was able to upgrade my team, uh, I did so whilst keeping 87 rated Mbappe in my squad. Now I paid... To 60 for him, he currently goes for probably about 160. Uh, unless he's rebounded. Oh, he's rebounded slightly, so he might be 190 or so. Um, but yeah, that's obviously quite a chunk lost on him. Uh, because people saw that he was getting an upgrade, he somewhat plummeted. But yeah, he has, he has risen a little bit after that. I think there's a total of about 15 in-game stats differences between the 87 and the 88. So be careful on Friday before you go out rushing to upgrade your Mbappe when really this one is probably just as good. Um, also, in other news, Porto lost against Roma in the UCL. So uh, the dream of getting a better Alex Tellez to maybe link up with Edo Militao is... I mean, it's still kind of there because they only lost 2-1. They got a crucial away goal. Uh, Spurs smashed Dortmund 3-0. So I imagine Aurea is going to get a plus one for winning that game. And then if they do eventually go through, he'll get another plus one. So we could be looking at a potential 88-rated Aurea in our squad in the next few weeks which is pretty awesome. Um, and that's about it for like live items, I think. Well, <clears throat> in terms of upgrades, I think we'll be seeing a, a much better Van Dyke at some point. When when it happens, I don't know whether it all happened at 6 p.m. on Friday or if they'll stagger it. Because I think last year it was staggered, right? Um, our Van Dyke should upgrade. As well as our UCL Allison. I think on head-to-head, -head, he's like an 86. I think he's an 86 on head-to-head -head or an 87 on it head-to-head. -head. So this will either go to an 87 or an 88, I think, as far as I know. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm not sure about everyone else. Probably nothing else, really, in terms of upgrades. Uh, because, yeah, I don't, I don't think we have any other players that would receive it. So that's pretty solid, and you know what our team is looking like. On the transfer list, I was able to sell some of the, the stuff I got from either marquee matchups and Champions League marquee matchups or whatever. So, yeah, pretty solid. We we were able to get decent coins for a lot of these players. They they all went up in the hype. So we're sat at 80,000 coins again, which is good. And in today's episode, we're going to open both our foot champions and our division rivals rewards. I haven't played any FIFA this week. I hope I got rank 3. Yeah, I did. Um... I really want to take coins or tradable, but I know that you guys will absolutely like not be happy with me for doing so because we're so low on coins right now. Because of having Ronaldo in our club, we I need to build coins up and it's very difficult to do so when I take untradable rewards. Um, if you think about it, we're going to take 30,000 coins from our weekend league, which could, you know, we could sort of say, oh, we're going to take 64,000 coins from our weekend league if you add these onto it, plus two 35k packs, uh, packs and a 50k pack. But hey, uh, I think you pr might be annoyed with me. And I do kind of like the risk as well. So we will go untradeable with our rewards. Um, but let me know in the comment section if you think every now and again it would be alright for me to take coins or go tradable route. Just to try and actually make something of our club uh, rather than always just having untradable things. So I'm not going to open them yet. We will unlock our Foot Champions Weekend League rewards. And uh, I will open the Reds first. Because I know you guys like to see them pretty soon. Um, and that way maybe you'll watch the rest of the packs afterwards. Rather than just skipping through to see what red I got. Which, uh, yeah, is, I don't really like that as much. Um, so we got gold three. Uh, 14 and 4, solid weekend. You know, second half of weekend league went really, really well for me. Uh, I think maybe having Cristiano Ronaldo was a factor of that. Uh, so we get two player picks or three choices in each. Two mega packs, a rare players pack. 30,000 coins and our qualification points. So just before I forget, I will back out of here and just qualify for the weekend league. Uh, because as you know, I, I no longer have a buffer. So I need to make sure I get them in there. I and mean, you saw it, we are qualified for the weekend league. So let's now go and open our two red players. 
Obviously, this week there's Pogba, uh, there's Sterling, James Rodriguez. I can't remember who else there is, but the only real usable one that I would love is probably Pogba. Uh, I don't see it happening from two red player picks, but I would absolutely love it anyway. Guys, don't forget to hit a thumbs up on today's video. If we can hit 2,000 likes for these rewards right here, I'd be very, very grateful. Go on, smash that thumbs up, and I'm going to open it in. Three, two, one, boom! First red player pick... Dante, 83 rated Dante is poor. I mean, rating wise, it's not the worst. If only they would actually class as informs in SBCs. I think I'm going to probably uh, feed that back once again because I just don't know if we're feeling heard on that situation. Um, especially now that we're about halfway through the game cycle, I think maybe they could start letting us use these in SBCs as informs. Um, We'll see though, I guess. Dante's obviously going to be the player that I pick. Then none of them are usable. And Nezri is actually probably one of the more usable players out of the bunch. Just because he's got 80 pace and 80 shooting. Uh, good shooting on matter. Or average shooting and physical, should I say. The rest of it is below average. So we're going to take an 83 rated Dante. It's a Brazilian centre-back in the French League. So I guess I could link him up if I needed to. But 45 pace... I don't think I'm going to be using that. So, red number one is not good. Red number two is going to be Pogba. Come on. Come on. No. It's just not good, is it? It's just really not good. Like, Billy Sharp. Obviously killing it in the championship this year. Doing really, really well. Uh, Belhanda. <laughs> it's not great. Skov actually looks all right in terms of I don't know who this player is Robert Skov. He's six foot tall with those stats. Um, in game stats wise, he's actually got fairly good strength. Apart from the defending, he's not a bad player. Like I don't think I'm ever really going to use him, but I guess I just do. I just take the eighty three. Like he's the most usable, but I've got so many better players that I could I could use better players. Billy Sharp's got good shooting and physical, but eh. Still, I think, obviously, in the championship, so uh, I don't really want to be picking that. That's not useful for SBCs. Um, is this the Danish or Norwegian? Uh, yeah, okay, obviously, is nation. Uh, and then we have the Turkish League, Belhanda, who is of higher rating, so I'm just going to take him. Skov is the slightly more usable player, but if anything, I can see me linking up to a few Galatasaray players or, or, or stuff from the Turkish League to help me with a, a challenge at some point in time. Gutted with my red rewards then, it is time for us to move over to the store where we should have seven packs. Yeah, we do. So the rare gold, uh, the rare players is last uh, and then I'll start with Megas. I don't know which ones of these are tradable or untradable, uh, but if you have just skipped through, I would appreciate your thumbs up on the video. Uh, let's try and hit 2,000 likes, like I said. So the first one's not great. It is going to be Coquelin, a 79 rated player. I would hope that this is an untradable pack because I definitely don't need to uh, sell anyone from here. I mean, Yes, there is there is a fair amount of players in there, and some squad fitnesses, some injury cards, uh, and I mean, it is untradeable, so I don't need to... We have no duplicates, but I guess I have completely and utterly wiped my tradable side of my club, which is probably why we have no duplicates. Uh, we'll go on to Mega Pack numero dos. Walk out, please. No. It's going to be another one of these weeks, isn't it? That's got to be boards, though. It is. This is going to be, okay, an 84, right? William Carvalho is an 84. That's good. That's someone which does raise in price for SBCs, and obviously I can use that. Uh, there's a lot of La Liga players that people typically use for, for challenges and stuff, so uh, that's actually useful, and it's it's a mega pack that I will definitely take, um, as well as three squad fitnesses, which is good, and then duplicates-wise, I mean, he's got to be untradeable, right? We probably just got him. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, but hey, so be it, it is life and we will move on. So, oh, I nearly opened the rare players pack then. Let's go mega pack number three. I do want a walkout. That would be lovely. God damn it. Where are they? Where are the luck? Where is the luck? I can't even work out English right now. That's bad, isn't it? Inui. He's got good dribbling, but I'm never going to use him. Absolutely never. So another untradeable. We get Begovic, Karsdorp. Not even a huge amount of players in that pack. And only two squad fitnesses as well. That's probably uh, probably the worst one yet. <clears throat> Just not great. Alright, final untradeable mega pack I'm assuming. 
So this one can be bad as long as all of the other three give us something good, right? Give me the tradable stuff good so I can sell it. We do get a walkout. Well, hello. What are we going to get today? It is going to be a regular one. Spanish centre-back from Real Madrid. That is Sergio Ramos. That's a huge pull. Now, I know that this is untradeable, but that is a very, very, very good pull right there. That's someone that I would definitely want to use at some point. I just saw PK in my head, and it was going to be PK over and over again. And like 99 times out of 100, it would be PK. But we get ourselves a Sergio Ramos from our division rivals rewards, which is great. 91 rated Ramos. I'm very, very happy with that. He looks sick in that kit as well. It's probably the nicest kit I've ever seen on FIFA. I really like it. Um, but we actually get Ramos. All right. Well, good mega pack. Very, very good mega pack. I'll take a 91 over a lot of stuff on this game. That's brilliant. Oh, he is he's untradeable, definitely. Um, but yes, I mean, we've got a lot of good centre-backs in our club. So I don't know if he'll ever really get in there. But it gives us an option at some point in time, should we want to ever come back to like using Bale or something like that. It, it, it could work. It could work. I kind of now regret not getting Carvajal. Um, but I also probably prefer to put a Real Madrid side on the left and have like Marcelo. Another couple of squad fitnesses. And uh, we get the PSG kit. I mean, it's untradeable, so I can't sell it anyway. I don't think it sells anyway. So, all right, all right, all right. I will take a 91 rated Ramos. But hey, let's get something good in the tradables as well, shall we? Mega pack number one, which is tradable. It's not a walkout. Back down to planet Earth again. Uh, we get ourselves Mendy. Yeah, it's going to be Mendy. 81 rated Mendy is um, probably not discard value. So that's all right. I will just stick him straight onto the transfer list. And Alcacer is a Dortmund player, and I'm not 100% sure if that SVC is still out, so I will try and sell it unless it has finished. Two squad fitnesses, and stuff that I can just discard. Uh, don't need that, don't need that, or that. I imagine a Chelsea kit is worth having. It probably sells for a little bit. Mega pack number two, or number six, I guess, in reality. Um, no. Boards, though. That's definitely boards. Who's it going to be? Polish. Glick. We're going to get ourselves a Glick, uh, who's an 83. For some reason, I thought he might have been an 84. Maybe that was last year or something. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, Glick's not great, but it is an 83 at least. So, at least it's not just a, an 81 or an 82. Uh, oh, wait. We're only players that sell there. i got a feeling like Germans do, so I'm going to try and sell Rudy. Other than that, I don't think there's anyone... And then uh, three squad fitnesses. So we've easily got enough for the weekend league now. And an anchor cam style is good. And I can discard these two things right here. Because I just don't need them. And it's all down to this. The rare players pack. Can we at least get another walkout so that we can get two walkouts in one video? One of them untradeable. Ramos. And second one will be tradable. Boom. Come on. Let me see that EA. Yes. We are going to get a walkout. Who's this going to be? I think that's regular again. Go on. Don't be. Wait. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. I mean, that's a strong link to the one that we just got, right? We get Jordi Alba. I don't think he sells for a huge amount. And in reality, yeah, I would have loved it switched around so that I could have sold the Ramos. But Alba's probably 30 or 40k. I mean, he's 87. So whatever their their lowest price is, I think he's, he's, he's a more desirable 87 than a lot. So there's potential there, you know, for us to make something happen. Not sure what yet, but uh, I probably will sell him, to be fair. But who else could we possibly get in our 50k pack? Uh, we get Lucas. I mean, it drops off quite considerably there. But Lucas might sell. Rashford will sell. So will Emery Chan. And the rest of the stuff we can start building our club up with again. Uh, got a feeling that Spaniards sell for some reason. So I'll keep this in the, in the club for now. And I'll probably sell that Jordi Alba uh, at some point in time. But... If we go and put the Reds in the red team, or Tem Red, instead of Team Red, because I made that mistake a while back. Uh, who did we get today? We got we got an 83 and an 83, so I don't really know if we can even put them in there. There's just no point, is there? We didn't get anything amazingly usable. Uh, so, I, I do have, like, Serie A Bundesliga Prem. So, if I create one for La Liga, and I could just show you what we've got, because I don't know if we've got a whole lot. 
but uh, we, we might as well have a look and see just in case there's ever any like weekly objectives or anything that we could that we could do so if I go to La Liga and I'll choose my specials who have we got all right oh, we got a few things you know yeah we actually have not bad and then not special uh, it's, it could be better it could be better I'm not gonna lie but yeah, we've. I mean, we've got a couple of things here. Oh, I've started going into the squad. So in goal, we could have Silison. At left back, we could have Juan Fran. At right back, we could have Arias. Uh, and at centre back, we could have Ramos. Uh, and left mid, we could have Koke. He's now got 93 pace, 93 dribbling. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Jean Jordan, D -d -d Rakitic. I mean, it's not the worst thing you've ever seen, is it? Like, uh, so we could just switch that like that. Centre back, we could have we could have uh, Savage if we wanted to. I just don't really have many attackers, so I could just put him up top, uh, or or really just go put Brahim Diaz there for a few games, couldn't we? Like, it's it's not the worst thing in the world. And if if something did come out. Like a, a, a weekly objective or something came out, then we could, of course, use that. And um, we could potentially also just do this, like play Juan Fran as a centre back, because he's fairly tall, right? 5'11, uh, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, that, that's kind of what we've got in La Liga so far. Uh, I want to just check roughly how much you go for 30k, I reckon. Uh, yeah, probably 25 to 30k. That's not bad. Uh, as 87 rated go, that is probably nearing one of the cheaper ones. Um, but I can top up my club to over 100k. Uh, oh no, we already are over 100k, aren't we? Because we got our, our weekend league um, rewards money. Uh, so obviously, I wanted to take coins. It wouldn't have been worth it because, yeah, it would have gone up 34k. But I just got a centre back here who is probably worth 150 or 100k or something like that. I know I can't sell him, but it's great for the future. Guys, do me a favour. Smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. Come see my Instagram. All of that stuff. Hope you have a lovely day. Happy Valentine's Day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.